Now that you've learned how to create a post, create a blog, um, I'm going to show you some of the more advanced features, uh, which you could control um, your appearance, you could control what you put on your sidebars, those sorts of things. So um, the first thing I wanted to show you is is basically how to change your appearance. This is the first thing people want to do because um, right now the uh, blog is pretty generic. So every new blog that started on WordPress.com kind of looks like this. Um, it's going to have this basic header, everything like that. So what I like to do is say, you know, make your make your uh, thing special. So you've got a uh, under the appearance tab, the themes is is basically how you'll you'll manage all of that. Um, and what's really cool is they've got a whole bunch of pre-installed themes here uh, that you could take a look at. Um, and some of them um, are very, very simple, um, like Sandbox. I mean, that is just, uh, um, you know, very, very basic. And then you've got some really, really cool ones. Um, the, the really cool thing that uh, WordPress has done is have let, let you preview it. Um, so this is what, if I chose this particular theme, this is what my site would look like, um, which is kind of cool. Um, you know, you can uh, you can see that it's got a very artistic design. You've got kind of like the notepad look there, and and everything along those lines. You can see the comment count, uh, which is zero right now. Um, so you can see that I I'm not going to do that one. It's a little too um, too much for me. I like I like uh, simpler designs. Um, so maybe I'll start looking at like maybe some of the more popular ones rather than just some random ones. Um, so this is these are the most popular ones. Uh, the freshly theme is very popular. I know I know several websites that use that one. Um, kind of a if you're familiar with the website Dig, that's a that's a popular one as well. Um, but um, my favorite, um, and this is just kind of playing to my uh, my taste a little bit. I love I love this like green uh, grass on top of there uh, it's a little small though so I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna skip that uh, maybe check out the next page so you could see you could you could you could do that so I'm just gonna pick um, one of these I'm gonna preview that one and uh, that's kind of cool I'm just gonna activate that uh, the cool thing is that uh, this doesn't impact your your site at all other than the look so it's not gonna change anything it's not gonna break anything um, WordPress is very good about that. And see, there you go. I just uh, um, updated it there, refreshed it, and uh, look at that. You've got um, the cool um, colors and everything like that. Now you'll see here um, that we've got some like different things. So links, pages, monthly archives. I mean, you've got all these like little, um, you know, you've you've got these little boxes that kind of hang around different WordPresses. And uh, on different themes, you'll you'll see those. Those are basically called widgets. Um, so, um, what that allows you to do is um, basically, you know, customize what um, what's in each one. So you'll see here that you've got a variety of widgets, um, and I mean it's pr it's pretty <laughs> it's pretty cool actually, like what you can do with these. So um, each one of these areas here are the widget areas um, and so the sidebar footer left footer middle footer right and and the header um, all correspond to um, areas on your thing so this is the header up here here's the sidebar and here's the footer left middle and right um, so those are all widgets and um, most themes by default uh, have automatic things that just kind of go in there <laughs> I don't like how it's set up though currently, so I'm gonna customize it myself. I'm gonna put my links in the sidebar, um, and there's some, um, you know, ways you can um, do that. And uh, I'm gonna put my categories in the footer. Uh, and let's see, I want to put a link to my pages there too, in, in the middle one. Uh, and maybe I want to also add recent comments to the footer, right? Um, and you know, maybe I'm going to do, um, you know, let's see, what else can I do here? I, I'm going to put a category cloud under the categories. Um, or maybe instead of that, so you could delete that one. 
I'm going to put a tag cloud instead, and I'm going to put that on top. So it's all like drag and drop. Um, it's it's pretty simple. You could change the name of it, um, you know, that sort of thing. Oh, and I didn't even put that under the right thing. So see, I could just move that up there under. So I want the tag cloud and the categories the same way. And I'm just, I'm just picking things to, uh, you know, to basically show you kind of how it works. So the author grid, you could do archives. And there's nothing, you don't need to save this or anything. As soon as you um, put them over there, they're saved. Only if you do anything like, um, you know, uh, if you put any, like, sort of uh, different thing in there, you'll want to make sure you save it. Um, so once I've done there, if I'm happy with, like, how it's looking, I could switch over to uh, the blog. I just need to refresh it here. And you'll see that uh, now you'll see the... Uh, the the cool guy there I've got the author thing the archives the blog roll and that all corresponds with this sidebar area here and so I could change the look of that or change the order of that and at the bottom here as well I could change the uh, the widgets and, and how they're laid out there so I've included pages I've included recent comments um, all here at the bottom, and I haven't had any recent comments, so you don't see those, but you see, you know, my about page, and some tags, and categories, and all of those sorts of things. The other thing I wanted to show you is, um, other than widgets and, and themes, the biggest people, people thing people ask for are the links. Um, and so, it comes with, like, um, you know, I mean, just default WordPress ones. Um, I don't I don't need any more of those, so <laughs> I just delete those. Um, and uh, so I'll just add a new link here. Um, so I'm just going to put my uh, blog here. Um, so HTTP. No. Sorry for the slow typing there. Um, you can put a description if you want. That's not a big deal. But I just put it all in my blog roll category and add the link. Um, and then it'll just, you could add some more links. I'll, I'll add a link to our website, dlnt.com. Um, and make sure it's in the blog roll category there. And add, and add maybe one more. I'll add the ERE site as well. ERE.net. And add it. So... What I've done there is is added some links. So if you go back to the links there, you'll see that um, you know they're they're all lined up there. They're in alphabetical order by default. Um, and if you go back out to my um, my blog, um, you'll see that um, the blog roll has been updated. So right here, um, you see that ERE rehaul and TLNT has been. Uh, has been added, whereas those other ones have been deleted. So as you add new uh, links, they get added automatically as long as you have that widget set up. Um, so that's that's basically how you uh, modify the major major parts of your theme, um, add widgets, and add links to your um, WordPress install.